So let's hone in on sleep, my perennial favorite and the bane of my well-being, depending on the quality. But last we spoke, I remember you spoke about, I think it was magnesium threonate, apigenin, and there may have been one or two other theanine. lucky charms in there. Yeah, right, theanine. Yeah. Are those still the holy trinity for your sleep, or do you have other things that you've added, things you've subtracted? What is your current cocktail? With the understanding that as much as people want to fix everything with silver bullets, light exposure in the morning, exercise, all of these are contributors yeah. to good, yep. good quality sleep. I still use the same sleep stack. So it's magnesium three and eight, spelled T-H-R-E-O-N-A-T, theanine and apigenin. And I've added every once in a while, I'll take 900 milligrams of myo-inositol. Myo-inositol has a rich literature associated- name. Myo yeah. is in muscle? Why myo? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, it must yeah. be. Yeah, it it's must a, be. So yeah. it's amino acid, but it can be a neurotransmitter mimetic. Extensive literature on inositol for improving insulin sensitivity. Hmm. There's also something called dechiro inositol, which is important for female fertility. We can talk about that. But what I've added in the 900 milligrams of myo inositol for is I do sometimes, like many people, wake up at three in the morning mm -hmm. to use the restroom. Mm -hmm. And although there's a simple solution to that that I just recently learned that really works, and I'll share it in a moment. Catheter. That, <laughs> no. <laughs> it helps me fall back asleep after that. Huh. And I am tracking my sleep because I sleep on an eight sleep mm -hmm. and that has good sleep tracking mm -hmm. ability. What Atia has taught me that a lot of the wristbands and rings for tracking sleep, while they can be quite good and are quite good, whoops and auras being the mm -hmm. two most popular ones, they can get movement wrong because of movement of limbs. Whereas the eight sleep seems to really capture mm -hmm. slow wave sleep, rapid eye movement sleep ratios really well. Yeah, I use both eight sleep and aura mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So the the myonositol it has has helped quite a bit with that going back to sleep thing. One way to not wake up to urinate so much in the middle of the night, I learned from a colleague is it turns out that it's not just how much fluid you drink, which dictates whether or not you need to urinate, because that's sort of a duh. It's also how quickly you ingest that fluid. If you gulp fluid down, it actually, because of the way fluid is absorbed, it actually in the kidney. And the way filtration occurs in the kidney, the way it signals to the bladder is that it makes you have to go to the bathroom fairly urgently. So if you have your final beverage of the day, sip it, don't gulp it. Mm -hmm. you know? For morning hydration, the opposite is true. You actually want to gulp down quite a lot of liquid in the morning. You can absorb quite a lot of liquid in the morning. There's a, I'm reading this really nerdy review in Nature has this wonderful review series on circadian rhythms in the kidney. Your kidney is not the same organ first thing in the morning as it is at night. Mm -hmm. This is what circadian biologists have been shouting for a long time. Every organ is this way. But you want to hydrate pretty heavily first thing in the morning. And then over the day, you can titrate off that liquid. So I'm going to ask you to pick some favorite children here. So you got, you got the magnesium 3 and 8, mm -hmm. L-theanine, mm -hmm. apigenin, mm -hmm. which am I understanding correctly that is effectively chamomile tea on steroids? Mm -hmm. High right. concentration chamomile extract. All right, got it. And then the myo inositol myo inositol all right 900 yeah. milligrams which turns out to be it's a big pill but it turns out to be pretty low dose for insulin sensitivity they give and for depression they give people up to five grams of myo inositol Oof. a day okay but it's a mild sedative so i don't know how people get away with that i'll take the four of those i will occasionally just, just be so five tired trazodone before yeah. my workout yeah that's... occasionally i'm so tired that i'll wake up with the pills in my hand or on the nightstand <laughs> So I don't think I'm dependent on them in any way. I will just briefly say, because today we've been talking about foundational tools, kind of the foundations of Let me just health. slip in the question oh. and then you can come Sorry, to it. No, 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 you're good. Yeah. The question <laughs> is, if you could only choose two of those. Oh, easy. mag 3 and 8 and apigenin. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Theanine is not going to be good for people that have very robust dreams or nightmares because it will increase how vivid your dreams are. 